Hey guys, and welcome to another Veg Inspired video. Today, we're talking potatoes, deviled potatoes to be specific. Pre-vegan deviled eggs were one of my favorite snacks. My family's recipe was simple and delicious. Now, I needed to create something that was cruelty free and aligned with my values. So enter the potato. Now I didn't create deviling of the potatoes, but this is our recipe. It's delicious and it's our favorite. So what we're gonna do to get started is we're gonna boil six to eight potatoes. Now I'm gonna boil a few extra just so that I can get the ratios right. Sometimes your potatoes are a little bit bigger than other potatoes, but what you're going for is roughly a, I don't know, two inch or two and a half inch diameter potato. You're gonna boil it until knife tender with a little bit of salt, roughly about a tablespoon for six to eight potatoes. So for this, I'll probably use a little bit more than a tablespoon. What I'm gonna do is get the potatoes into the pot, cover them with water, about an inch or so above, and then boil them until knife tender. Okay, so the potatoes have been in for about about a half an hour, we're gonna just check to see if they're, fork, they're knife tender. I'm gonna slide the knife in, slide the knife out. They fall right off, so it looks like they're done. We'll shut them off. We'll transfer them to a cooling rack over a plate just to get them to cool a little bit faster so that the air can get underneath them um, and so they're cool enough to touch in order to make our deviled potatoes. So the potatoes are cooled enough to handle, so we're going to cut them lengthwise and then scoop out the um, inside flesh. This recipe is all about ratios, so what I have here is a two cup container. I'm gonna scoop the flesh in there and that will allow me to um, better get a handle on the ratios. So let's get started. I use a melon baller, but you could use a spoon. It's just, you have to be very gentle and you wanna leave about a fourth all the way around. Sometimes you will, sometimes you'll get really close to the edge like I did there. And then we'll just set these aside. Okay, so I have all of my six potatoes with the flesh scooped out. You can see here that it was about two cups of flesh. Your potatoes vary in size so much that you have to taste as you go. So we're gonna put this in. We're gonna use a potato masher to kind of give it a little mash first, since they're all in their circles. And then we're gonna add in a fourth of a cup of Veginase, two tablespoons of mustard. So then we mash. That's pretty good. So I think that's the ratio. Just a little bit of salt. A couple cracks of pepper. We'll give it a stir. So what I like to do is like to give it a heaping kind of filling like this. And then you're gonna place it on your tray. Okay, so the final step is to take your 
sliced green olives if you like those. I like the ones with the pimento. I cut some extras. Sometimes on the larger ones, I put two. You can totally make these around Halloween and they could be eyes. Then the last step is a little sprinkle of paprika. Voila! And there you have it, folks. A dozen deviled potatoes, just in time for your favorite holiday barbecue picnic, or just as a snack, because that's what I like to do with them. You can make different variations of this. It's up to you, but as far as I'm concerned, grab some red potatoes or gold potatoes, get them boiled up, slice them in half lengthwise, scoop them out, mix all your goodies together, and you have deviled potatoes. So I'm gonna give these a taste. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to see more videos just like this. And as always, eat more plants, live veg inspired, and have a great day.